What's going on guys, it's Venomous Fat Man here with RealAtalkingGamer.com and I'm standing next to the beautiful and the lovely Julie Madalena. It's nice to meet you finally and talk to you. So, let's, we're here at Chibi Pong Moments for you. We're having a good time. We just had your panel here inside with Robert and Richard. Richard right now, guys, he's doing his autograph sign, which I gotta run to later, get my Kingdom Hearts 2 sign. But, you know, you're having some good time down here. What's it like for you, you know, for this actual anime convention you know, since you've been here? It's just fun. It's really fun. I, I never know what it's going to be like, you know, and I really am enjoying everybody so much. There's a real fun kind of family atmosphere here. Each one of these conventions has its own kind of personality, but I think, I know Jason's tried, he's tried to keep it kind of small, so it's a little more intimate, and I like that. Everybody's been really warm and friendly. The fans had great questions at the panel. Yeah, it was really nice. Really good. I really enjoyed that, and it felt good. It was kind of bonding. So how many conventions exactly have you been to? I have not done a lot of conventions. I've probably done only three. Three. I've been pretty much in absentia because I've been mommying. So you haven't been to Chibi Paw before? No, I have not so, been to Chibi So you see, I have not been to Chibi Paw before. This is exclusive. Before. I am a noob at this today, so <laughs> at least I know I'm not alone. Not alone. So that's pretty cool. So at the conventions that you've been to, at the three conventions that you've been at, have you ever seen anybody, you know, walk around in cosplay oh. of any of the characters that you've done? Wow, yes I have. But you know, I can't anime or gaming otherwise. Yeah, yes, I have. Oh yeah, I have. I have. But it's funny, I have to say, that they all start to blur together because really? there's some there's some consist there's some characters that you see that are kind of consistent yeah. kind of like you can walk around and you can see doppelgangers for people like oh, yes. oh my gosh he looks exactly like somebody I know that looks just like somebody oh, I know. Triplets. it's like that in <laughs> anime where you go wow that character looks like somebody I played but that character that kind of character shows up a lot in anime yeah. so, so there's some here's, here's a good here. question Do, is there anyone that stood out to you that you saw someone that had just like an awesome outfit and knew instantly that like that was the, that was my character that you were dressing up as I can't remember because it's probably been about 10 years since wow. I was at a convention. Oh, I know. I know. Either way, it's still good and fun, though. So, anyway, yeah. let's talk about some of the characters that you've done, okay? You were Dita and Vandre, you know, you were Sarah and Lafina. You were, I forgot the exact name at the moment from uh, Magical Night Raid. Oh, Hikaru. Hikaru. Okay, I remember reading that Hikaru was one of your favorites. She was and really fun. Why specifically is that your favorite, though? So, for the people that don't know. Right. Well, um, Hikaru was my favorite because at the time it was the first opportunity that I had to do one of those warrior characters, yeah. which is really fun for me because I was usually playing little girls, almost little, you know, little mm -hmm. tiny voices mm -hmm. and little tiny characters. Yeah. But it's a, and I used to joke saying, you know, I want to be a warrior, I want to do that, I want to sound like. Like Richard F. Parr. Yeah, you know, there you I was go. like, exactly. never got that chance, but Hikaru was the first chance I got to play a fully fleshed out warrior girl. Mm. And I loved that. I loved that she had like a whole range of emotions. She wasn't kind of linear as a character. She was completely fleshed out, but she had all these dimensions. Mm. She was, uh, you know, she was a child, but she was a warrior. She had the weight of the world on her shoulders, mm. but she was still a school kid. Yeah. So I liked that. I liked the range and I liked the, the challenge of that. Well, that's pretty cool. So to kind of go with the opposite of that, you know, if that's the best best character that you've ever played or the one that you have the most favor with, mm -hmm. what is the one that you kind of had to struggled with the most or the one that you dislike the most mm -hmm. completely? I know it's a hard question. Wow, I don't... If you've ever thought about it. I really haven't thought about one that I disliked. The um, one that was like the toughest to play but you still got it. Most challenging yep. that I still got. Gaming, anime, doesn't matter. Boy, I'm trying to think. Gosh, I don't think I have one that was, because usually when I would get hired, I'd get hired by people that knew my voice, they knew my range, yeah. they knew what I could do, so it wasn't that it was out of my reach, mm -hmm. it was something that I could do, and the nature of anime, mm -hmm. you don't have a lot of, when you're looping or dubbing, you don't have a lot of freedom in yeah. terms of creative, creatively, of you're, you're really honing in to match what the character has done, so you can be as true to the original vision, so I don't think there's anything that was really difficult for me. They're all good. <laughs> I think mean, vocally, the one, the challenges were the warrior ones, mm -hmm. and having to maintain that nice, strong, solid, supported warrior, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, those warrior moments, mm -hmm. I, I'd say probably the two most challenging for me are the classic, you know, uh, a powering up moment oh, like where I have to keep the character level up type of style. The, exactly when I have to keep the character but, ha, but really um, have a nice strong warrior sound yeah. that's a challenge it's hard on the voice right, that's that pretty cool so with that being said you know is there any type of specific character or archetype or anything or type of voice that you wanted to play that hasn't come your way yet that you're looking forward to down the line you know what I get to play it but I don't get to do it as often as I like are the wacky 
the it's wacky, I love, the crazy I old love one. the wacky loopy, you know, like we were just talking about. I love um, Lime, uh, what was the one we were just talking about? That we, oh. uh, she uh, she was one of Dita. Dita, and, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I don't get to do that as much, but when I do, I'm so excited. And it's good. It's so fun. And it's good, because I like Dita from Mandrake, <laughs> hands down. But that sounds pretty cool. So, you know, you've got your own projects down the line that you've been working on and stuff. Is there anything specific that you want to aim for towards down the line for the future? Like any sort of role, exactly? Um... Or, a type, or it could be, again, a type of character or a type of a genre of anime, I should actually, or game. Okay. Um, boy, I feel like I've gotten a chance to do a lot of different things. There's one, I can't remember the name of the project. It's a film that's coming out. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And I play the role of Cotton, mm -hmm. who's this little teeny tiny teddy bear that comes to life Cute. when he saves the day. Okay. And it's this very... Wait, Kodoro? I, I don't is it Kodore? It's a book called Kodore that's like the exact that's same. That's made into a film? Yeah. With the teddy bear yes. who rescues the girl from the yes. bad guy. Yes. And making a film out of that. Oh my gosh, it's Kodore. gorgeous. I remember reading the book when I was younger as a kid. I remember yes. having that same little picture book. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Okay, I know what so good. About. Thank you for helping me with I, the title. It just, it just hit oh, my head. Oh my gosh. So projects like that, the anime style, mm. it's the stunning animation, mm. but the really rich story. Mm. Those are the things that I like to, to be a part cool. of. Yeah, the characters that are just beautiful and rich and fleshed out, and the, it's just the, the beautiful stories and the beautiful animation. Those are my favorite projects. Awesome. So, far. so before we kind of wrap things up here, you know, besides animes and uh, different films and stuff, games. I know because pretty much all voice actors they do like a barrage of everything now. You know, it's mm -hmm. not just one thing. So, yeah. what are some of your favorite games that you actually lent your voice to? So, some of the people could actually go and check them out that are gamers out there. Well, there's one that's coming. Okay. Okay. Can't talk about one that one that's good because listen, you get they're they're real tight lipped people. Okay, so you gotta understand, but it's coming. You'll know it when you see it, right? I can describe it generally. All right. Okay, because it, it's really I I think they're. I think one might be already finished because we're uh, starting oh, the second okay. party. But it's the thing I like about it, this mm -hmm. game, is it's historically accurate. Oh. Okay? okay. It's historically accurate. It's the it's the China Dynasty Warriors. Oh, Di Samurai Wars or Dynasty Warriors? Dynasty. Uh, okay, I think yeah. I Alright, okay, so there's a new one coming out. But anyway, it's I like it because it's historically accurate. Yeah. And I found out about halfway through my first session mm -hmm. that, oh by the way, all these characters are real. Yeah, that all those characters are based on actual like historical figures. And I in, love in that. that. That's I love nuts. that. That makes me feel like, wow, I'm a piece of history. I'm, I'm helping to record history. I'm fascinated with history, so I'm. It takes I a whole like new great. form. Totally, it's it's, it's totally a much richer experience for me then. That's awesome. Which, well, it's always awesome. I really appreciate you coming doing the video interview with us. It was Thank a lot of fun. I'm gonna go to her panel signing. Yes. Again. Right. That's gonna be so much fun. I got my own little collage thing I got yeah. that I made, so she can sign it. It's gonna be cool. So anyway, guys, we got some more Chibi Pop Moto footage from 2011 coming straight at you guys. I'll be on the convention floor again real soon. Talk to you guys again real soon. We're from, uh, what is it, Julie and me? Peace out, everybody. Stay epic. <laughs>